Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Legacy Challenge. We're here with Bonnie and Gino and the cats. The kids are actually in school for right now, so they're not going to be out for at least another two hours. <clears throat> so, as I was looking, it looks like I've pretty much got them planned up for... Yeah. Yeah, first. Um, I've pretty much got them planned up for what we're going to be doing. Um, um, and would like to run them all out of town. Do you approve? No, you're not running the homeless people out of town. That's mean. All right, so as you saw, I put my mods back in my game. I'm hoping that they're okay and that we don't have issues with them, but <clears throat> we'll definitely see because I have no idea. I haven't played with them yet, and I'm just hoping that everything goes good. <clears throat> um... You're supposed to be playing that, not putting it back. Alright. And then you gotta play alone. The kids are still at school, like I said. Um, they're just meeting friends. The cats... I don't know what the cats are even doing. Stalking for prey. He's watching TV. And then I have him scratching. And then it looks like these two are communicating. Which is fine, because... I mean, they don't have much... Anything else to do. Let's put it that way. So, I'm just going to let them keep stalking for prey. And that'll be good. Alright, so Gino's taking a bath. He doesn't really have anything better to do with his life, for right now anyways. So he's going to take a bath. <clears throat> and then, I guess he's going to wash all the dishes, but I'd rather he paint. Because I want to get him to that point where he can paint her portrait. And how close is he? Um, where's your painting skill? Painting, painting, painting. Six. I think you have to be level seven. So he's got to go up one more level and then we'll be good. She is just awfully loud, is she not? I think it's awfully loud anyways. Alright, so she wants to learn the guitar skill. So that's what she's trying to do. Don't know how great she's doing, but okay. She actually has to master the guitar skill for her lifetime wish. So we got to get that done. All right. McLaus and Charity will be out pretty soon. I don't know if they have any after school activities. It does not look like I got them in after school activities, but he's got to research the store. So we're going to let him do that. Do you have any opportunities? No. Okay, so she should be okay for right now. She shouldn't have any problems. Oh, what is going on? Oh, it's the cats. Okay, I was a little scared there for a second. All right. It's just people learning some skills because I put the mods, like I said, back in. So hopefully we'll have some good stuff happening. Um, if it glitches out, I made a backup copy of all of my save files. It's actually, my whole entire game file. So um, we'll definitely be able to just fix that. But um, we'll definitely see what's going to happen here. So Gino... You keep painting because I want to get you finished up on that. Um, Bonnie, have you learned this guitar skill yet? No, but you're about to. And then you should clean the counter. Because it is very dirty. Alright, you can stop that now. Play catch with Niklaus. Talk to Mips. That one's going to be easier. And the other one's gone anyways now, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, you go to the store. You're on your way home, which is good. You need to take a bath. <coughs> Man, I wish this cough would go away. I really do. Alright, where's Mittens at? Mittens. You need to eat, cat. Alright, Mittens, eat from the bowl, please. Oh, I think I already told you to. And then, when Mips is done, she wants to socialize with you, so we're going to let her do that. Alright, what else do you need to do? You want to socialize or talk to Mips. Is this Mips? No. Where's Mips at? Nobody knows. Nobody knows where the Mippy Cat is. What is she doing? Hold on. Oh, you're going to clean that. Okay, you can do that. Charity, I want you to get over here and take a bath. And then I want you to get your homework done. Do your homework. And then go ahead and read that book. I believe you wanted to read three books. So that'll help. You also wanted to sing to your imaginary friend, so go ahead and sing to Patterns. You wanted to use a rocking chair, so did we buy you a rocking chair? Yes, we did. Go ahead and, right here, 
go ahead and rock. Um, and then you wanted to learn the writing skills, so go ahead and writing. Just do a science fiction novel. Might as well do a novel just to get it done and over with. You're not going to rock. You don't need to do that. All right, what do you need to do? Do these need to be cleaned? No, that doesn't. That doesn't. All right. Is there leftovers? There's plenty of leftovers. Let's get you to make the bed. Make the bed, and then you can make your children's beds because that's just what a nice mother would do. No, my mother would have yelled at me to make... Well, she wouldn't have cared about making my bed. She would have cared about cleaning my room. So, at least we're getting something. You saw a wild horse? <clears throat> okay. Where is she? Oh, she's in the bath. I don't know how you saw a wild horse in the bathtub, but okay. And you need to work on that guitar skill again. So let's see, where'd that go? Actually, you got a sketch in here you could sell. What is the sketch? Oh, well, it looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. What is it? I'm trying to see what it is. It's just being really hard. I have no idea. It looks really weird. Okay, so go ahead and sell that for $13. And, um, <clears throat> let's see. What else could you do? Um, let's see. You could come in here and use, go ahead and take another bath. You might as well just keep your needs high. Are you done with this darn thing? Oh, you are. Okay, go ahead and sell that for $243. Go ahead and paint another large. <clears throat> How close are you on leveling up? Not even halfway. Oh, man. All right, so your fleas should be gone. You're good now. You don't got a problem in the world. All right, get your homework done, please. Elijah, yeah, that's fine. When you're done there, come on home. And then uh, I'm going to get you to take a bath as well. Take a bath. Do your homework. And then you're going to need to eat something. Eat some mac and cheese. Are you hungry? Not really. So I'm not going to worry about feeding you quite yet. Bonnie. You have to catch zero of three frogs. Mips, what are you up to? Socialized? Yeah. Um, Jax, you really need to uh, get over here and scratch. So let's get you to do that now. Use scratch. All right, you need energy, but you're going to be socializing. All right, you're socking for price still, but you need to come in and use this and scratch when you're done. Let's ignore that darned phone. It's really annoying. Smartphone, more. Ignore call. All right, so the, the cats are catching stuff. Forbidding Moon, yeah. Michelle's reached Elder status. That's fine. Oh, that was quite the glitch. All right, let's get you over here to eat something. Eat some cake. Dario is now the father of a new baby girl. Paloma just gave birth to a baby girl named Niki Nikia. It's a cute name. I've never heard of that one before. All right, so you got that done. I'm going to get you over here to go ahead and eat from the bowl. What are you up to? You're scratching? Good. Um, <clears throat> mittens. You could stock for some prey. Alright, so go ahead and do that. And you, I think I've taken care of. You want to scratch the scratching post? Well, you're definitely going to do that. Um, yeah, you guys should be good. Alright, so you keep working, because we definitely got to get you done on that. They sure make a lovely couple. Eduardo Gils Carbo and Carlota Gils Carbo continue to be inseparable. Well, they're married, so I'd hope so. Georgia Madonna and Giacomo Madonna have been desperately searching for a new home to settle in. Okay, well, I just put the mod back in, guys. Give me a break. <laughs> okay, give me a break. You and your darned phone. Okay, let's see. Smartphone, more, ignore call. All right, what else do you want to do? You want to talk to Mips, so where's Mips at? Mips, you're just sitting here doing nothing. 
go here. And then you want to talk to her, so go ahead and talk to Mips. I think she's like horrible, has horrible relationships with Mips. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Alright, you want to buy a dollhouse? We could try. I believe the dollhouses are pretty expensive though. I don't even know why. Well, I guess a real dollhouse would be pretty expensive. Yeah, they're like six fifty, seven oh five, seven twenty five. They're expensive. So we'll have to wait on that one. Hopefully Gino will give us something that we can do. Why don't you be a little bit not you. Not you. Why don't you be a little bit nicer to this cat? Feed it a treat. Talk to it. Um listen let it sniff your hand. Brush it. Go ahead and play. Have fun. Um, yeah, that would be good. You do your homework. Did you get that done? Alright, you know what? Finish. Alright, you're done. You're done. You're done. You already did it. Piggy DeLuca is an adult dog. Is an adult dog. All right, do your homework when you're done. You're just going to rock till that wish goes away, and then you'll be good. You just want to use a rocking chair. That's all you wanted to do. All right, are you done? If I cancel you out, are you going to be done? All right, let's see. You did use it. All right, you want to buy a rocking rider. Oh, you guys just want everything, don't you? You finished that book? Yes, you did. All right, let's see if we could buy the Rocking Rider. I don't know how much that one is, actually. I don't think it's as much. All right, let's see. which one? I like this one the most. I really do. I think it's just one of the cutest ones. So let's see. If I put it here, will you be able to get through? In between there and there? Hopefully. Hopefully. I could have put it this way, but that's okay. You learn the writing skill. Jimmy Sprocket and the Ghost Town Blanket. Sounds like a good one to me. Alright. So you keep doing that. Antonio is a full, is a finally a young adult. Mittens just got her hunting skill up. Alright. Alright. So we've got some stuff happening in the town. Which makes me happy to know that it's actually making stuff happen in the town. Alright. Don't forget to clean up your bowl. I wish I could do these for them, but I can't do it until we age up. So Elijah, Mips, and Mittens is who you want to talk to. Elijah, Mips, and Mittens. So Jax, what are you up to? You're practicing hunting? I would rather you just stock for prey, to be honest. You're not that tired, so I don't need to send you to bed yet. Probably after that you will be. Affections appear to be developing between local sims Antonio Monti and Giovanna Costa if they were heard openly commenting on each other's mad kissing skills. That's just weird. Alright, when you're done, I'm going to send you to bed. No idea what you're laughing about, but okay. Jax is up to level 7. Alright, so we got some new jobs happening. Mips. Let's get you over here to scratch and use the bathroom. And then you can go to bed yourself. So we'll get you to sleep on the top today. Alright, you want to improve your hunting skill? You can definitely do that. But when you're done with whatever you're doing... Oh, you're still full. Okay. Um, how about you, Mittens? What do you need? You really need the bladder and the scratch. So I'm going to have you to use this one. Use... Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Use, and then go ahead and scratch. And then I'm going to get you over here to sleep here. And then what are you doing? You need to eat and sleep. So let's get you over here to eat. Eat from the bowl. What are you doing? And then you can sleep. And then when you're done, I'm going to let you go to sleep down here on the bottom. Alright, that's fine. You guys don't have to catch everything. Alright, when you have learned the writing skill, which I don't think you're even close to it, but you can go to sleep. When you're done eating and you clean up your bowl, you're going to go to sleep. And Gino, when you're done with that picture, we're going to take care of you. Um, I'm going to want you to sell it. 
Alright, she submitted a few chapters and got eight dollars. That's fine. Alright. <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna sell it and go to bed to be honest. Alright. We do have a gift. I believe it's for the hybrid baby challenge though, so I'm not gonna go over there and try. Antonio Monti and Giovanna Costa have taken that next step and are now going steady. Alright. No, you're not going to na react negatively. It's ridiculous. Alright, you take care of that stuff. You're still eating, which is good, because you need to. Alright, someone passed on. I accidentally clicked it out too fast. Alright, that's fine. <clears throat> yep, get over here and get up there and sleep. That'll put you in a better mood. Alright. You're good. Sleepy sleeps. Alright. It looks like Niklaus got his homework done finally. He needs to clean up his dish and then he can go to bed. Alright. You're still hunting. You are not here yet. You're sleeping right here. Okay. Alright. So Hassan is now a toddler. That's good. It means that people are aging up properly. You're still outside hunting, and I believe you're still outside hunting, so you guys are fine. You take care of that meal, and I, or that dish, and I'll be happy with you. Uh, Edna is now a toddler. Okay. Hired, age up, hired, pattern, death. The death was Michelle Harris, so I'm sorry, Michelle Harris, that, that had to come for you. Um, Georgia Madonna and Giacomo Madonna had a baby. There's no honeymoon and no home. Well, they'll find one. All right, she was paid $8 for that chapter. Irene is now a fully mature adult. That's great. Uh, you want to meet someone new. Okay, well, I want you to go to bed. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. Oh, you did learn the writing skill. Look at you go. All right, so she's grasped the writing skill just like she wanted to. Her learning all these skills as a child is going to help her really immensely when she is an older, when she's like a young adult. So it says, can words move another sim to cry, to laugh, to fall in love? Charity has begun the literacy path, one that is not always the less traveled, but perhaps one in need of excellence. Will the next bestseller be penned by Charity? All right, so that's good. Mittens got a rat. Giacoma is now the father of a new baby boy. Georgia just gave birth to a baby boy named Devin. Oh, I think he's a robber, a burglar. Ugh. Patrizio, Valenci, Monti, and S um, Simona, Valenci, Monti tied the knot recently. Shoot. Okay, speaking of, that was worth 306. Okay. I got to go up in, into map view for just a second. I got to find the city hall. Oh, it always takes me forever to find things in this town because I'm so not used to it. Um, it's got to be over here. City Hall, City Hall, City Hall, City Hall, City Hall. Right here. <laughs> right in front of your face. Alright, so what I need to do is go into Story Progression, um, Town Options. And what I need to do is change this. I forgot to do it. So when opposite sex get married, they'll take the husband's last name. And when the same sex gets married, they'll just do a coin flip for the name. And that'll be good. So that's what I normally do. Everything else I don't really mess with. I mean, you could go into general options, but you don't really need to. Um, immigrant options. They have the same thing down here, but normally if you change it on the town options, it's just better. So that's pretty much what we've got there. And it'll just give you a notice of what you've done. But like I said, the people were getting hyphened names, and that's not what I wanted. So that's much better now. All right. Where are you headed off to? To use the bathroom. Okay, go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to get you to sell this thing for $306. How close are you on leveling up? Let's see. Painting is at a level 6. His job, the oh, he needs cooking, he needs his boss, he needs his co-workers. And he has work in 14 hours. But look how close he is to leveling up. That's why I think I haven't been pushing him on it. Because he's already pretty much maxed. So go ahead and sell that painting. And then I'm going to send you off to sleep. Alright, and then 
Well, we're not desperate or anything, remarked Patrizio Valenci Monti while out house hunting recently with Simona Valenci Monti, but you know how spouses can be always so insistent about such things. Hopefully a new home will open up soon. All right, they continue along for a home of their own. Okay, so let me just pause for just one second, and I want to sell the bugs out of the, or the things that the cats have caught out of their inventories. So she's got a, a gamma lizard, which is worth $100, or 100 simoleons. This ladybug is worth seven simoleons, and the water beetle is worth 22 simoleons. Um, Jax has caught a barber's map turtle for 126 simoleons. Uh, Mittens has caught a spotted turtle for 325 simoleons. Japanese beetle for 11 simoleons. Uh, pygmy, what was that? Pygmy Komodo dragon for 131 simoleons. A rat for 8 simoleons. And the plasma bug for 3,400 simoleons. That's amazing. I want more of those. This Indian, um, Mi Elijah's caught this Indian roof turtle for 88 simoleons. Uh, this emerald tree boa snake for 10 simoleons. This spiny turtle for 868 simoleons. Oh my goodness. Um, this emerald tree boa snake for 10 simoleons. And this water beetle for 22 simoleons. Holy moly. So the cats have done really well. Now, she wanted the, um, she wanted the, well, Bonnie wanted to buy the, spit it out already. <laughs> she wanted to buy, <coughs> she wanted to buy the dollhouse for the kids. So I'm going to go with this dollhouse. It's a little bit more expensive, but we have the money now for it, so that's okay. Um, all right, so that should have gotten rid of that wish, and it did. So she wants to feed Jax a treat. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut out here since they're all going to bed, and I'll be back in just one second when they're getting up. All right, well, Bonnie just got right back up out of bed, and it's because she just found out she's pregnant. I thought I'd just let you guys see, and then I'm just going to send her right back to bed because she's still probably tired. Well, not too bad, but... Oh, I do like the outfit she chose. All right, go back to sleep. And she just found out that she's pregnant, so that's great. I'm really just hoping she has what she wants, to be honest with you, because I don't really intend on having any more kids. So I'll be back in just a second when someone's getting up. All right, so Bonnie is getting up. She's headed to the bathroom to take care of the needs that she needs to take care of. And <clears throat> then I have her headed to the kitchen to get something to eat because she is kind of hungry, not extremely hungry, but to the point where she could definitely use something to eat. Everyone else, I believe, is still sleeping. Um, Jax pretty much just got into bed, but everyone else is sleeping, so we're just with Bonnie for right now. And to be honest, it's quite a relief to just have one person to focus on instead of eight people to focus on. Well, four Sims and four cats. So I guess, you know, it's better. All right, I have her also cleaning this bathtub because I think the children were so dirty that they made the bathtub dirty, which really sucks, but um, that's great. Um, so I want to also get a shower for in here just because it would be quicker and then we could use the bath when you maybe each of the parents needed. Um, we have plenty of money, so I'll be doing a building video also on this probably after this episode. Um, because we did acquire enough money to be able to do that. Normally I do about $5,000 and then I build. Alright, I'm just locking in some new um, wishes for people who have slots open. Other people, they're going to have to live with what they got. Alright, Bonnie, I really would like you to feed Jax a treat so we could lock in have a girl. Since that's obviously what you want to have. I think he wants to have a boy. I hope you don't have twins, but we'll see. We will see, won't we? All right, let's go ahead and get you out here to eat. Oh, that's annoying as can be. Um, I don't know if you have to fill any of these bowls except for this one. So go ahead and fill that when you're done. And then you know what? Make your bed because you might as well get all that done. That is really annoying that you're doing that. If it's from the mods, I'll take them back out because I'm not going to deal with that. Seems that one house is better than two for Beep Biachi and Susan Biachi and Beep has decided to move in. Okay. Um, oh, she can't clean the cat boxes because she's pregnant. 
okay, that's fine. That obviously makes sense because a pregnant person is not supposed to clean cat boxes, but I wasn't thinking that the Sims actually lived by that option, but I guess they do. So that's kind of cool. They didn't know that. Affections appear to be developing between local Sims, Beep Biachi, and Vanna Sang after they were heard openly commenting on each other's mad kissing skills. Didn't he just have a wife? I don't know. It's best for the that the two Sims find different homes to live in. They just moved in together. Oh my goodness. All right. Uh, they continue long for home. Yeah, that's fine. They're not going to find one. Okay. We need to go out front. Oh, it's a snow day. Good. Recycle. Go ahead and recycle that as well. Let me put the walls down just for a second so I can see the mailbox. Go ahead and pay the bills and... You can check and see if we have a gift, but I think it really is for Hybrid Baby. She will fondly remember the first time that she had a snow day, okay? And he gets the same memory, so that's good. Alright. So you guys are having a snow day. Valentine Monty has been renewing his affections towards partner Noel Monty. They are so good look good together, whispered Looky Lou. Alright. Let's get you over to use the bathroom when you get up, Gino. Go ahead and clean that and use it. And then go ahead and take a bath. And then let's get you over here to also eat. Because we need you to eat cake. Uh, no, let's get you to eat waffles. Who is this? Jax. All right, Jax. Good work. You didn't sleep very long, buddy. But you know, if you're that hungry, then that's fine. But let's get you over here to at least sleep now. Alright, pause. Too many people are getting up at once. Mips. Um, I'd rather you eat, but if you want to scratch, go ahead. You want to scratch the post, groom yourself. Okay. You can do all of that. Um, Mittens is still sleeping, so that must be Elijah. Yeah, Elijah's up. Alright, Elijah, let's get you to use this and scratch. You want to do a couple things. <clears throat> and then let's get you over here to eat, because you need to do that too. All right, that should be good. And the kids are still sleeping for a little while. Gina will be sleeping for a little while. Bonnie is taking care of the bills and checking the gifts. So in just a second, we'll probably get kicked into that. They've announced they're expecting a new baby. Okay, good for them. So are we. <laughs> Maybe our babies will get together and fall in love. Who knows? All right, yeah, so this is for hybrids. Let me check friend, pending friends. All right, I do have one, and this is from Harry222. All right, thank you so much for sending me a friend request, and you're now on my friends list. So thank you so much for that. I wish this would get fixed. Um, I say it every time, but I do wish it every single time. All right, you want to give who a treat? Jax a treat. Jax, where are you at? You're sleeping? Oh, yeah, you went back to sleep. Okay. What I'm going to have you do, then, is I'm going to have you work on your guitar scale. Where'd your guitar go? No, play alone. All right, buddy. Your phone is ringing and you're sleeping, so I'm going to ignore it. Let's see. Smartphone. Ignore call. He's sleeping. She's sleeping. That's fine. Mips, you're taking care of that. Need. And then, you know what? You really need to eat. Okay. That's fine. Jax is doing good. Um... When you get up, let's get you to go ahead and scratch, and then let's get you to eat. And did you have a spot for that? No. Okay. Um, Elijah, when you're done eating, let's get you to groom yourself. Uh, groom yourself. And Mips, I believe you wanted to do that as well, so I'm going to go ahead and let you do that as well. All right, so she's working on her guitar skill. He's getting up, so let's check on him. What? How many more hours? Six hours until you have to go to work. All right, when she's ready, she can make the bed. You want to brush mittens. We could do that, too. All right, she's just getting loud now. I'll have to tell her to stop. She's not going to be quiet. Hey, over here. Too loud. All right, your kids are up. Let's take care of... Whoa, that zoomed in pretty fast. I feel like it's like really choppy today after I've added in the um, <coughs> the mods. I'm not too happy about that, but 
We'll see if it calms down maybe as we go along. All right, you also want to have a snowball fight. We could do that. All right, Gino. Bonnie, stop. You're being too loud. You're being way too loud. Let's put it that way. All right. Mips, you're doing fine. Um, Orlando's now the father of a new baby girl. Marta just gave birth to a baby girl named Summer. All right. You got rid of that wish. Who did you have a wish for? Oh, it was Jax. I don't think Jax is actually up. I think he's still sleeping, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bug him. All right. And when you get up, Jax, I want you to use and scratch because you really need to do that. Mittens is still sleeping. All right. You wanna playfully pounce on Jax, groom yourself, and practice hunting on the catnip toy. Well, the catnip toy is right here, so you can practice hunting on that when you're done. You want to practice hunting on this thing too? So go ahead. No, not practice, play with. Practice hunting. Friday at 10 a.m. No more teachers, no more books. Apparently Dax Rossi decided that being late to school is fine by him. There's no school. I think they've lost their minds. All right, you're taking care of that. What are you up to? You're rocking. Yep, because that's absolutely what you needed to do. Not. All right, when you're done eating, go ahead and clean out that cat box because that's disgusting. Um, I'd rather you did something else, so, I don't know, we'll have to see what we can get you to do. You want to feed Elijah a treat? Elijah, where are you at? I know you're up. I know you're up. Alright, so let's get you over here to feed Elijah a treat. Affection, feed him a treat. He may not accept it because he did just eat, but hopefully he will. Alright. I'm going to get you in here to clean this, use this, and take a bath. So that way you're taken care of needs-wise. Elijah, are you going to wait and get fed a treat or what? You want to hiss at Nicklaus? You could do that, but it's kind of mean, you know. Alright, when you're done cleaning that up, I'm going to get your wife to clean up your dishes for you because she hasn't got anything better to do. I'm going to let you paint another large. Alright, you want to read another book. So let's see if we can find you another book to read. Go ahead and put this one away. And let's have you read Technologies for Luddits, I guess. Hopefully that will give you something good. Hopefully you haven't read it already. That's probably the biggest thing. You probably have already read it, but that's okay. Alright. Have you read this? I don't think so. Alright, and when your brother's done, you can use the bathroom, so... Hopefully he finishes up pretty quickly. You know, you could just come watch some TV, because you don't really have anything else you can really do right at the moment. I mean, you could play the guitar, but you're awfully loud when you do. That way, it just gets you out of the way for just a second, until I can figure out something for you to do. Alright, when you're done with that, I'm going to have you use the bathroom, but I want your brother to f be almost done in here. Are you painting? You're not painting. Paint a large. They sure make a lovely couple of Valentine Monty and Noel Monty continue to be inseparable. Okay. Okay, you can stop playing with that now. <clears throat> I'm just going to let you go ahead and stock for prey, unless somebody wants to do something with you. And then we'll just get you to stop. But as of right now, I don't think anyone wants to. You're sleeping. What are you doing? You're stalking for prey. Um, you want to groom Mips and... Okay. Catch a fish. Well, I really think you should get over here and eat. Because that's something you really should do. And then we'll get you to stalk for prey. And then when Mips is done, we'll get you to take care of that and wish with her. <clears throat> what are you doing? You're catching fish? Yeah, I know. Go over here and use and bathe. Your brother has lost his mind. Don't know what he's doing. You want to feed Elijah a treat, Mips a treat, and brush mittens. Alright, where's mittens at? Oh. All right, hold on. Go ahead and 
go here for just a second. Georgia, Madonna, and Giacoma have been desperately searching for a home. Okay. Gino's carpool will be here in about an hour. Alright, can you brush her? Care. Brush. Brush mittens. Mittens, are you going to let him do this? Okay, come on, let him do it. Alright. Get this done. <laughs> I think you guys have lost your minds. Alright. Gino, you're fine. You've taken care of most of your needs. She's taking care of her need. <clears throat> and then go ahead and continue reading that book. You found a honeypot ant for 37 simoleons. Okay. You did not do that. Pension. No. It's under care. Brush. You guys make it awfully hard to click stuff when you're running all over my arms. She won't let you brush her? Well, then you know what? Feed her a treat. Talk to her. <clears throat> let her sniff your hand. Um, play. Have fun. And, okay. You go to work. And that's the person I have to worry about. Alright. So you're reading that book. <coughs> Your mother is going to get in here and use the bathroom. And I think we're going to let her upgrade this to self-cleaning. Give her something to do. Alright, how's that going with the cat? Good? You guys building a relationship? Um... Feed a tree. No, don't go here. Um, talk to the cat again. Let him sift your hand. Go ahead and talk to him. Some more. Alright, there we go. Alright, Gino, I want you to hang out with your coworkers. I think they're worse off than. Well, not really. Your cooking is the worst. So go ahead and practice cooking. You keep working on the potty. Actually, I think it's done because it's one of the, um, it's the premium content one. So it just updates, it upgrades really fast. Jax, where are you at? Alright, Bonnie, go here for a second. I'm going to get you to take care of that one wish. You upgraded a toilet. That's great. Alright, Dario's up to handiness skill of five. Alright. And what do you want to do with him? You want to feed him a treat. So let's go ahead and let you feed him a treat. Jax. You can stop doing that now. You're good. <clears throat> Alright. Now he's got fishing skill. Dang, he's really working hard, isn't he? You want to upgrade five objects. Well, that's really good point. So we could get you to do that. Alright. <coughs> Alright, feed him the treat. And then you want to upgrade five objects around the house. Alright, so go ahead and eat some macaroni and cheese. <coughs> and then I'm going to let you come into the bathroom. You can upgrade this to self-cleaning. And then we'll see how long that takes you because that toilet is fast, but all the rest of them won't be. Alright, he's practicing cooking. Looks like he'll get a promotion today to level 10, which will max out his career. Or his lifetime wish. And that's exactly what I want. What are you doing? No, I want you to take care of some of these. Mips, where are you at? You're still doing that. He also had one for mittens, I believe. You can't brush her yet. I'd rather you do that than anything else. You want to read in a rocking chair. Are you done with this book? Alright, put that book away. <clears throat> and then let's open up the bookshelf. The Adventures of Raimundo. Alright, I want you to come over here and sit in the rocking chair. 
I don't know why you want to read in a rocking chair, but okay. And then I'm going to get you to read while you're rocking in the rocking chair, I guess. I don't know how that works, but hopefully this will work. All right, now go ahead and read this. Read it. All right, there you go. That should help. There we go. That gets that done. Gino's hard work and effort has really paid off to the tune of a permanent extra $20 raise per hour. Dang. He's found a new and faster way to make those tasty dinner rolls everyone scarfs down before their meal. Now the restaurant will make more money and people will get more of their favorite bread. The boss is grateful and gives Gino a raise. All right. Looks like a lot of people are getting raises today. Goopy Gills Carbo seems a good catch, commented Emma Perry to a good, a close friend. It's early in the relationship, sure, but I can tell that one has potential. All right. You got the adventurous trait. Who is that? That is Jax. You wanted to do something with Jax as well. You wanted... No, you didn't. That was the only cat you didn't want to do anything with. She's the one... Who wanted to do something with Jax? All right, where's Mips at? All right, go here. Where? Who is the other cat? You want to sniff, sniff Mar Marlana? She's got to be outside if you want to sniff her. Let's see. Where is this person? Where is this person? Who's making snowmen? It's not my people. No idea. I don't even see this person. Now I've locked it in. Well, it's just a waste of my time. All right, well... We'll figure it out, I'm sure. What is this? A maple leaf? Okay. Um, you want to groom Mips and become best friends with Elijah. Is this Elijah? You know what? You're going to be friendly. Groom. Go ahead and socialize. Go ahead and sniff. Go ahead and nuzzle. Um, play, pounce, and play goof around. Hopefully that'll get you guys to best friend status. How close are you guys? You guys are at friends already. Alright, I think this is Mips. No, that's Jax. This is Mips. What do you want to do with Mips? You want to feed her a treat. So affection, feed her a treat. Mips, you're going to be fed a treat now. So let's get you over there and get you guys taken care of. She's reading in the rocking chair still, so that's good. All right, come on, go. She's working on upgrading that to self-cleaning. What's that cat doing? Jax has officially lost his mind. All right, you want to improve your hunting skills, so get out here and stalk for prey. All right, who's the other cat you wanted? Elijah. Elijah, where are you at? You guys are taking care of each other, so I'm not going to mess with you yet. You want to go on a field trip? What are you going to do? Preside over the royal court? That's fine. Alright, Mips. You want to sniff Niklaus? We could do that. Jax, I really want you to get out here and stock for prey, buddy. Alright, that'll get you the hunting scale. And you want to sniff a couple of people. Alright, let's see. Mm. Love is in the air for Emma Perry and Goopy Kills Carbo. They are now in a steady relationship. All right. And when you're done scratching, you want to sniff him. So, yeah, we could catch butterflies. That would be easy. <coughs> All right. So she's still working on upgrading that. Go ahead and sniff him. I don't know if it's going to cancel him out or not, but hopefully it does. Because I'd rather she get this done. Yeah, it will. Okay. So sniff him. Those two are just playing around over there. Alright. Oh, man. 
All right, Gino got $1,090 today at work. And it says, congratulations as a reward for your achievement to five-star chef, you've been allowed to keep the following acquisition. Minus one Calvin fridge refrigerator. Look for it in your family inventory when you go home. He has completed his lifetime wish and has gained plenty of lifetime happiness to spend. What will his next goal be? So, Gino... Some impressive performance earned promotion to a five-star chef, as well as a bonus of $2,652. Without peer, Gino is in charge. As a celebrity five-star chef, you are the face of the restaurant. People read your books, watch you on TV, and dream of sampling your culinary masterpieces. There isn't a single spice flavor or combination of sweet and sour that you haven't contemplated and perfected. You are a master of the kitchen. He now makes $632 per hour and works from 3 to 7. That's a crazy amount of money. All right, so he's reached the top of the culinary career. And that's great. And he also maxed out his lifetime wish, which gives us another point. So I'm going to write, I'm going to mark it down so I remember. So we'll have a total right now of four points. So, Gino's lifetime wish completed. All right, that's great. So, he's got that completed, and let me go in the the inventory and see the refrigerator he got. Oh, it's this one. I love this refrigerator. All right, what I'm going to do is just pull the colors off of this and onto this fridge. And let's see, what can we do? Maybe make it all white? That looks good. Alright, now let's get rid of this fridge because it's just not as, it's not even close to as good. You guys have tons of stuff in here, don't you? I didn't even know you guys had that all. Alright guys, well as you heard, my um, timer went off, so I'm out of time for today. But in the next one, we'll continue working on Gino's painting because he needs to paint Bonnie's portrait. He's already completed his lifetime wish, so he doesn't really have to work on anything there. I mean, he could work on this stuff, but it's not really going to get him anything. It'll just keep getting him a raise. So we'll just keep working on his wishes and his painting skill. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.